two. Not quite yet into 2012. We begin the final college basketball game of the Pac-12 Conference of 2011 here in Seattle. The Oregon Ducks on the road to take on the Washington Huskies. And they're having a New Year's Eve party here inside the Alaska Airlines Arena. Just about set to go. Dave Fleming, Sean Farnham, happy to have you with us. A real rivalry here and two teams playing well in the last couple of games. This should be a real good one, Sean. Very up-tempo as well. Both teams scored over 90 points in their Pac-12 opener. Bull Gaddy over the dynamic freshman Tony Roten who has the ball on the wing in the corner a three-point bucket is no good but an offensive rebound and the big man Aziz Njai's tempo offense Njai down low off the glass it gets there outstanding freshman Desmond Simmons in the game off the inbound play Abdul Gaddy for three it's been Washington that's dominated on the hardwood. And it's a focus for Oregon and as Dan Altman continues to try to get this program back towards the top of the conference. The Huskies have been near the top for a lot of years now. And the three-point bucket for C.J. Wilcox. The board for him in his field goal percentages. Might be the most improved player in this league. There's Tony Roten. I think you know immediately that you got to get out on C.J. Wilcox. Now well, Singler and Sim just ran into one another, and now a highlight play coming for Roden. Very sloppy for the Ducks, and it's a... Watch the screen. Roten just blows it up, and when he goes into him, falls back. Singler basically creates the turnover, and Roten able to finish at the opposite end of the floor. It's physical play. Here's Ross with his two fouls back in the game and hitting another three ball. Too strong on the three and the long rebound for the freshman Tony Roten. Leading the break for the Huskies. Roten is going to go all the way. And that's on Joseph. And they need offensive production from him. Njai. Has struggled. And he's only averaging 8.3 points per game in those losses. Eight first half points here is a good sign because it starts to open up things for their teammates. Going underneath the basket, found an opening. Fish on that one, a little half hook shot over Terrence Ross. Simmons shoots a three, and his foot was on the line. That's a long up the head of his teammate, and so Oregon keeps the ball. And Jai, why not do it again? Spectacular defensive sequence for Aziz and Jai. Now Roden a spectacular pass, and Gaddy finishes. And Dan Altman's got falling down, somehow kept the dribble going, and maybe that was a bad thing for the Ducks. Wilcox makes sure it was. In the Alaska Airlines Arena, biggest lead for Washington. And a bad pass by Sim. Roten one-on-one -on -one against Joseph, and Roten with the crossover move. As and the size, the physical gifts, he's got a lot of savvy too. Singler with 13, he came in the game just averaging 12, so a big first half for him. And they needed those two points. Wilcox, they left him open again. Final two and a half minutes of the first half from Seattle. The Ducks and the Huskies. Here's Terrence Ross, his three. Too long of a run out on the back line for Singler. Shot clock. Roden was asking for a screen, but Washington just flattens out and lets Roden go one on one against Sim. And there's why. Taff had his shot rejected. And here comes Ross, three on three for Washington. Ross in transition, just flung one up and it went in. I think that he. Here's Roten in the open court, attacking the basket. Tony Roten. Helping Oregon stay in this game. Gant tries to go back door. Ill-advised pass and a great bounce right to end. Washington steals it away. There's Wilcox, wide open. Three! Wilcox, he is really feeling it. Now, another three for C.J. Wilcox. Simmons finds Wilcox, dribbles inside the line, used the left hand to finish. Terrence Ross steps back into a three. And everybody can play above the rim, can do a bunch of different things. 
Wilcox, he's doing a lot of good things tonight. Untracked. Another Ducks turnover. Tony Roten after a rest on the bench. Gaddy wide open. His three. Had some really bad losses in the first couple of weeks of November. And the Bruins, who had, had sort of found a way to build some momentum up. Wilcox! Wow, what a night for early, and then they were never able to get their footing back underneath. Gaddy's three! And they got their footing underneath it tonight.